she blows. There she blows. I, the goddess, have been reaped like a snow palace. It is castrated. My silence has been the condition of symbolic stability. I saw the same instance, order. sir. The coherent text only possible at the cost the of same silence in the same Rachel, no. the goddess. Now she blows. Movement of she blows. The sea of she blows. Right ahead. Of aye, aye. I, I, I knew it. He can't escape. Three you were one and spit her a spout. Other fear. Oh, well, as she died, the same himself is after you eat. Oh, your trump. He's giving the word flux. They have one thing with others here. Like she does. She breaches. Oh, she breaches. I reach her last bit of the sun. Then she continues. Power and the dark moon. This is my Jewish soul. I all alive. My Jewish soul. Jewish soul. Hell to the sun. Take the hell. Jewish soul. Hell. 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 Take the hell. Stand around me, men. Free and see old man. We cut down to the stump. Not complaining. Free and shiver with lamps. Propped up by the lonely footfalls. It is Ahab beards. His body's lost. Angel wings. Wrapped in souls. A centipede. They entered, tripping the light. Fantastic. Hundred one legs. Heavenly synthesizer sounds. Here I break. Here we crack. While harmlessly. Until you hear that, they are noticed by the old. Ahab's pause or pose his purpose yet. Hell continues. Do you feel brave, men? Brave. Original profound meaning. Feel the fire. Towards thee I roll, thou all destroy. Rachel continues her tirade. Well, regardless of it, but its original profound meaning of the last part, the mmm from hell's heart refers to the delicious taste from hell's heart of the more sad and pain of the nibbler. For hate's sake, I'll spit in my last breath at thee, thou. Rachel continues her tirade. Regardless of its original profound meaning in the philosophy. This whole act, mm -hmm. immutably mm -hmm. decreed, refers to the leaves, takes me a billion years before right. this ocean goes nibbling. Fool, I am the fate's lieutenant. The law of the order phallus requires a submission to an authority. She's going to sound. Be the fool. 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 Eat it, and it's heading straight to leeward from south. Now. Right away from us, we... Lady Dumb Man. One at a time. Stand by the pit. braces. Quickly, right Bar after the hill, hill says the word. Brace up. Shiver her. Which pits, 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 so pits, 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 all the number of floor from any mass of the king on the roof, another bank lost their color. Which way? A pill man. I want the same again. Shipkeeper, I lost the other. Keep him there. Quick, all hands to the rigging of oil. One sex is not entirely consumable. Iron, iron, hoisted oil's high. There is always a remaining of sheets. Hell there, steady, steady for life. The bull, ten times girdle the unmeasured bull. An encounter between the two sexes may thus leave something of a remaining in yet the resin that is irritating to their relation. Each of the ship, the hearse, the glorious ship, must he then perish. Oh, now I see my top race, great disasters, and my top most grief. Each examines the boat, remains left in her hand, and throws it away. I see thee again, I, and thou goest before. They pick up great clusters. This, then, is the hearse. This untapped reservoir is what guarantees their vital alteracy of each of the other. And yet explains their interactions and the fruitfulness of their encounter. Help me, man! I wish to stand. On the fruitfulness, they pop grapes into their mouths and wipe off their mouths. They are going to leeward still. Then the three ladies stand with the three personas. Hand off from me! Eternal sap runs up in Ahab's bones again. Set the sail. Out of the hill. The great Leviathan. The spirit of the sea. The sea. The boiling pan. The simple god has a best of tenuous kind. Ahab stands alone among the millions of people. The gods lament his neighbors socially disrupting. Moments of radical subversion, of transgression, like man assassins, poetry. These are the three parts changed to the goddess. Madness, being glasses with ink, and poetry. Hand in the cup. The three ladies do pretty well. Plenty of gulping souls. The three ladies do idiosyncratic sounds. They have cherries, cherries, cherries. No flask for one red cherry here with me. The three ladies do idiosyncratic sounds. Can't see the spouse now, sir. Too dark. Oh, heading when last seen, madness, as before. 
frenzy to leeward. Do you see him? Very abundant. Nothing, sir. Turn up all hands and they begin to develop a What do you see? As they think, sir, they account for the space. Okay, angels. The moon goes a big enemy to test the wishes. The sun, I, I, he's chasing me now. It's not I, him. It's bad. No coffin and no hearse can be mine. And him only can kill me. The moon goes a big enemy to test the wishes. Sitting back to enjoy a cigar, she enjoys the cash and shame that the angels, the cannon she has come in here to make up. The angels are coming desperately, as one at a time, and in various ways they plummet into the tiny heat. As each one flashes into the sea, there is heard loudly from the other. As each one flashes, as each one splashes into the sea, there is heard loudly over the other nautical and musical sounds the flushing of a toilet. Text are the consequences of the violent repression of psychical measures and their subsumption under the principle of law, order, and authority, that is to say, under the law of the Father. The semiotic explodes, first shot by the family cabinet. Raquel now works herself up into a frenzy of holiness. The semiotic explodes in an excessive, uncontrolled jouissance of madness. Madness of the psychotic or the fetishist who refuses the father's law and retains her semiotic pre oedipal maternal attachments. And this is the holiness of transgressive ecstasy. If woman has always functioned within the discourse of man, it is time for her to dislocate this within, to explode it, to turn it around, to seize it, to make it hers. Taming it, taking it into her own mouth, biting that tongue with her very own teeth. To invent for herself a language to get inside of it. All this, of course, leaves Rachel as undisputed great lady of the ocean.